Welcome to Let the Quran Speak. We're in the month of Ramadan, and one of the interesting things about Ramadan is that it flips our routines around. And that gives us the opportunity to rethink some of the things that we do in our daily lives, but also, you know, in our life in general. And so, Dr. Shabir, I'm turning to you now. I wanted to ask you, how can we use Ramadan to change our lives for the better? Well, one of the things that's obvious is that when, when we are, in a way, uh, constraining ourselves to, to the fast, it means that we are staying away from food and drink for, you know, a, lo- a long period of time, uh, several hours. Uh, that's even uh, not saying it right. Uh, more than several hours, right? From from dawn till, till sunset. About 12 so, hours, right? Yeah. In, in Toronto nowadays, it's like about... Uh, uh, six uh, in the morning until uh, seven thirty at night. Yes. So, w- for that long period of time, more than twelve hours, um, you know, to stay with our food and drink uh, and w- to live with certain restrictions uh, means that we are uh, training our willpower to work for us. We we are in control of our desires here, and we are de- we are deciding. Uh, when to eat, when not to eat, when to drink, and when not to drink, and so on. So that that that's, that that is a turning point for us. It can help us to rethink. We, but as you said, this change of routines can help us to rethink. Do we really need that morning coffee that we always thought we couldn't live without? Mm-hmm. Uh, do we need to have a heavy lunch uh, that is uh, you know causing us to gain weight uh, more than we would have liked? Uh, you know, do we need to do the things that we normally do? Or can we live in a different way with different routines, with different activities? And this is what we're finding in Ramadan. Yes, we could actually change and we could change uh, for the better. Mm -hmm. And then it's not just the routines and activities, but you start to think about the bigger things in life. Like, am I making good choices, um, good moral choices, Dr. Shabir? Um, and, and so people use Ramadan as an opportunity to change their life in that way as well. Yes. So many people have uh, fallen into trouble and uh, difficulties. You know, somebody may say, OK, I'm uh, caught in this affair at the office, but I can't help myself. Yes. Somebody says I'm gambling, but I can't help myself. Somebody says I'm drinking alcohol, but I can't help myself. So... Uh, what do you mean you can't help yourself? Yes. Well, here in Ramadan, we are uh, We're forced masters. to help ourselves, exactly. right? We we're, choose to help ourselves. Yeah, we're masters of our own desires. We, we, we decide I won't eat from morning till evening. And though this is one of the strongest uh, desires of a human being that, that leads to the preservation of the self, uh, we, we, we must eat. We have to eat. But of course, uh, we, if we can overcome that call, at least for so many hours, uh, then we can then, you know, overcome all of these other problems. We, we don't have to fall into affairs. We don't have to gamble. We don't have to uh, drink. We don't have to be slaves of our own desires. Uh, we can uh, make ourselves servants of the Almighty God, uh, as we do in Ramadan, and that, that will help us to be conquerors of our own uh, desires. Yes, so we can change for the better in so many different ways. It's time to uh, reconnect with family and to think about the importance of family. Maybe we were busy with all of the hustle and bustle of life and uh, we didn't have time for family, but uh, we can sit down for iftar with our families at the end of the day. And uh, more than families, we can sit down for iftar with the community, the wider community in the mosque and Islamic centers. Uh, and uh, there we could be com- uh, connecting with this uh, wider populace. Uh, and, and then we could be refocusing our attention to what is most important. Yes, family is important. Community is important. All right. We'll leave it at that. Thank you, okay, Dr. Spear. You're welcome. Check it out, everyone. Our brand new studio space. It's a work in progress and it's all thanks to your support and love. This Ramadan, help us raise $100,000. This will help us develop the studio further and buy the equipment we need to develop more programs like this one. Visit our website, muslimmediahub.com.